friend, this is Dr. Teresa Chang. If you're on this page, you've probably typed in, what do you need to do to become a doctor? Now, I'm an integrative physician. I've also practiced family medicine for 10, 11 years. So the first thing you have to, you have to do is figure out why you want to do it. Is this your calling? Or is it something that other people want you to do? Maybe society, family, tradition? Because it's a long journey and you want to know the why. The second thing I always tell people to do is shadow a doctor because you want to actually get a glimpse of what their day is like. And many, many people would be happy to do it. Just tell them you'd like to follow in their footsteps, ask them what they like, and perhaps what they don't like because that's also really, really important. The third thing is actually, yes, you need to be interested in the sciences, but you also want to uh, be well-rounded, you know, also be interested in things like history or art or dance or, you know, music. And also service is a big deal. Service, like volunteering, is also really, really important. So in terms of schooling, four years of college, uh, then you take the MCATs, actually, which are entrance exams for med school. Four years of med school. When you graduate med school, you have an MD or DO degree. And then you have to enter training, so for at least three to five years, depending on the specialty. So training is about 11 years in total, and uh, training and schooling, and yes, you actually do incur quite a bit of debt. That's what you need if you want to become a doctor. So for me, you know, um, burnout is actually a really big issue because that occurs not just in doctors, but in a lot of people who are especially service oriented. It doesn't matter whether you're a teacher or a parent or caregiver. And oftentimes when you ask people what they want more of, it's time freedom, financial freedom, and I'd like that too. And if you're at all interested in that, you know, what I would do is click the link below, get onto an email list, contact me. I'd love to connect with you. Freedom in your life is actually really important, I think. And if you're at all, like I said, if you're all interested, I'd love to connect with you. Okay, Dr. Teresa Chang, have a great day. I'll talk to you later.